everyone. My name is Taylor McCavanaugh. I'm one of the doctoral interns at Georgia State University's Counseling Center. During this time of COVID and being alone in the quarantine, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I've been doing to pass some time. I've never been one for really arts and crafts, um, but during this time I decided to really dive into my creative side and I've been painting a lot of canvases. So uh, first I want to just show you a couple of the canvases that I have been painting and then I'm going to walk you through one of the ones that I'm going to paint with you today. So first thing we have to do is get the supplies. So we got our canvases and we have our paints and paintbrushes. Today we're going to draw a white dandelion with the petals flying off of it, kind of like in this image that you see here. First we're going to paint the canvas background one full color. I'm feeling a little bit of a purple today, um, but this purple might be a little bit too dark for my liking. So what I'm going to do is kind of just throw purple everywhere, grab the white here, and put some white in here too. That way it's going to mix together really nice. Um, and you can kind of just get like one of the bigger brushes like this. But now I'm just going to color it in like this and see what comes out of it. It's looking pretty good. It's a lighter purple, kind of like what I wanted. So you also want to make sure you get the sides really nice as well. All right, so we got all the sides. All the white now looks purple. And usually I like to do two coats, so I'm going to give it a couple seconds to dry. I'm just going to make my second layer here. Same kind of deal, just a little bit of purple and then some white. And what's really nice about, you know, doing these kind of canvases, oh, I put a lot of white, so I'll put some more purple. Um, is that you can make mistakes and it'll come out however it's meant to come out. So that's another really cool thing about doing canvases during this time is that it doesn't need to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect and it's just something to get yourself out of your mind and get yourself to do something that maybe you typically wouldn't have done in the past. So I'm gonna paint this layer and see how this one turns out. All right, second coat is on, looking good. So now we're gonna let this dry um, and then we're going to get a pencil and kind of sketch out what we want on the canvas. Okay, so now that the painting is dry, um, we're going to outline with a pencil um, of the picture that we're gonna draw. So like I said earlier, I'm going to draw a white dandelion with a couple of the petals um, coming off. So um, usually I have a picture next to me of what I'm drawing so I can kind of just like outline it and transfer it onto the canvas. So what I'm thinking is of making the kind of just flower here a little curved with the leaves here and then some of it flying away here. Um, and I don't want to make it too big because I'm going to add something a little unique to it, um, which I'll show you at the end. And what's good here is that if you erase, if, or if you make a mistake and you want to erase it, it's really easy to erase anything on paint. Um, or you could just get more paint and just paint over it and wait for it to dry again. Now I'm just going to kind of start with the bottom here, just lightly drawing it like this. So it has a little curve to it. And then up here, I'm just gonna draw kind of the like a circle to show where like the center of the flower is gonna be. And then kind of just these lines sprouting out from here. Um, and if you saw the picture before, there's a lot of kind of these leaves going here. And then there was a couple sprouts coming off of the ends. 
Okay, so here is the outline that we have so far. Um, so now I'm going to take the white paint and my thinnest brush and I'm going to paint the stem into the um, center here and then we'll go into this part after. So first we're just gonna focus on this area. When you're painting, you kind of just go with the flow and see what comes out. I drew all the stems first and now I'm gonna draw the parts of the flower that kind of split apart. So now I'm going to, in this space over here, um, draw some of these petals flying off, but I told you that I'm going to put kind of a twist on it. Um, I'm going to make some of the petals turn into dragonflies. Um, so I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, but if you keep referencing the picture that we saw before, um, you can kind of figure out where you want some of the petals to end up. Um, if you want them to look in that area or if you want them to look a little different, it's really up to you. There's no, you don't have to do just like what the picture says. Um, so right now I'm just drawing like the stems of the petals and I'm going to outline it in pencil first and I'll probably change it a little bit once it goes into um, the paint that I want. But I'm gonna draw about two petals to be just regular petals and I'm going to outline those in white and then when the white dries a little bit I'm gonna distinct the dragonfly from the petals with a different color um, I'm thinking like a blue but you know again do whatever you want this doesn't need to be exactly what I'm doing So you can see at the tail end how I started making the lines a little bit bigger, started putting out the wings a bit, and then this is going to be the final dragonfly, the one that's going to be pretty much all blue, um, but I wanted to show you the progression up close, and that's how the dragonfly is going to end up. So like I said, it's going to be a little bit of changing colors, uh, outlining most of it in white first, and then ending with the blues over here. So I'm going to use this little panel thing to put out whatever blue colors I want um, and use the white still and then outline it out. So I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay, so I wanted to show you all where we're at. So look at kind of the blue starting to show up. Um, and you saw at the end there, I was outlining the last dragonfly in black. Um, it's still kind of wet in the inside. So once that dries out, I'm going to finish up those touches. Um, but as you can see, this is what it's starting to turn out like. The painting is finally dry and I put some of the little touches in at the end. So kind of looking at the progression here, you see how it goes from the white to the blue, adding in those little details along the way. Here it is. So that shows you what I've been doing with my time during this quarantine. Um, painting has really been able to help me get my mind off of everything and just distract myself uh, to help the time pass by. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I really hope that you all are taking care of yourselves and just know that none of us are going through this alone. Stay safe.